Now, previously, we saw how we can use different types of animations, custom or out-of-the-box hero animations, and we can see how we can control all aspects of the animation by digging deep into the animation controller and the animation objects. Now, in this lesson, I want to show you that there's also prepackaged animations. So, if we head over to our Flutter packages, and if you search for animate, you'll find a whole bunch of things that you can use to add instant animation into your app. So there's the flutter sequence animation for you to define a whole bunch of animations that should happen in the sequence. So change color, then change shape, then change size, etc. There's also animations that can be applied to widgets or components like this elastic bottom menu that you can implement. There are springy animations like the sprung package, which are easily implemented and calculated from complex physics. Now, the package that I want to show you in our case that we're going to implement is something called the animated text kit. And it has a series of beautiful text animations that pretty much are just add water animations. They're so easy to use and you instantly get these really cool effects like the typewriter or the scale change or the colorize, etc. So let's go ahead and implement this into our code and see how we're going from both ends of the extreme of animations from fully customizable to using something that's already prepackaged and ready made. So let's go ahead and depend on this animated text kit. So let's go into our pubspec.yaml and below Cupertino icons, let's add our animated text kit. And let's make sure we run package.get so that we grab that package. And now we can import it wherever we need it. So we're going to import it at the top of our welcome screen. And it's called text kit, animated text kit dot dot. So now right here where we have our text in our flash chat text widget, we can change that from a normal text widget to a animated text widget, and we can choose the type of animation we want. So in my case, I'm going to choose the typewriter. So I can now replace that text widget with a typewriter animated text kit. And typewriter animated text kit expects a list of of strings, which is going to come under the text property. So instead of having just a normal string, I'm going to create a list of strings and it's only going to be a list of one string in this case, but of course you can have more if you wanted to. Property name is called text. So if you had four lines of text, for example, then you could have a list of four strings, each of which is going to be printed out one by one using the typewriter animation. And the last thing we have to change is that the style property is the same as the style property for the text widget, but it simply has a different name. It's called text style, and we can still apply our text style widget to the text that's being animated. And that's it. That's all we have to do to implement that animation. And we can now check it out. And so this is what it looks like. It'll type out the text. It'll flash a few times before it goes back to type out the text again. And I think this looks really, really beautiful. And I just wanted to show you how there are lots of ready-made animations that you can simply apply to your Flutter apps because brilliant developers have created things, things and they've shared it with us on the Flutter packages. And we've also got our fully customizable animation controllers and animations that we can build ourselves. And this is where you have the most control over how it looks, how it behaves, what it does, and you can have a lot of control. So those are the two sides of the coin. And I hope that our deep dive into Flutter animations is going to get you excited about putting animations in your next app.